Nation of Donald Willings, Dubs of his Gallows and Anderson. One of the cooler moments of the close lockdown era was when AJ Styles was due to a judgment date and Gallows and Anderson made the big return to WWE to back AJ up. To back AJ up. And, met, and they even worked the great six-man tag match to the Saudi show. Sadly, after AJ Styles broke his ankle leg really badly. Missed like six, five to six months and during the entire time, Gallows and Anderson weren't used. Then, since AJ Styles would come back, he's in the weird angle where he keeps arguing with the next stage. He even slapped Anderson on the latest SmackDown and it really feels like a lot of ways of time of two great, really great talents. What do you guys think is going on here with this booking? Kind of feels a little AW-ish booking that they were resized up so they could be a surprise for Raw, and that was the end of the thought process. I mean, I don't know. Do you like? Yeah. I've just gone on for years. I just feel like they've never really trusted or invested in them like they should. And he says here something like, "Yeah, what did they bring him back for to bury him again?" Um, maybe AJ said, "Hey, can you bring my boys back?" And he's got enough juice to do that. And maybe him getting slapped might have AJ team up with somebody else against them. Yeah, and plus, plus, you know what? To, um, I didn't. I wasn't a fan of this, but I saw enough of clips back then. That when when they were in the Bullet Club, the Bullet Club was like a very like brash, like stone coldish type of faction. Like they would come in the the the, um, the media scrums. The, the, the old, Japan's the first people to do like they do the shoot media scrums, right? Right. But they would come in the scrums and they'd be like drinking beer, right? Cursing, you know. Yeah. Right, so that's kind of like, so like their whole gimmick or like their whole personality is kind of neutered in WWE. They're not like a bunch of beer drinking guys that like to fight. They're just like they're they're the the, the the like oh we 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 all wrestle together. That's it. Yeah. Well, they were kind they, of they, an like, offshoot of the, together, They were kind really of an offshoot of the NWA Japan right. style because they would even do the too sweet. Yeah, and I remember right. like once they had Jeff Jarrett. They're like a the honorary. You yeah, know, Bullet him Club and the guy. War. And then they had another one where uh, I remember they would have like a hot chick, which you really, really didn't see Japanese guys doing that. And then one time I remember Gallows came with his wife as a valet, Amber O'Neill. You know, mm. so they're always doing like stuff that the other guys weren't doing, which made them cool. They, they could do, they could literally keep that faction together. And the dynamic of them, of AJ being a straight, straight edge guy. And those two guys drinking one of the right, drinks beer the parties, the right. like would, would, would be, be a pretty fun dynamic to work with. Right. And they never either they never went there any of that character though. Yeah. And I thought, you know, so I, I don't know. Like I I think those guys are far more talented than the than the W Z breath they are. So. Or AEW. Remember, they popped up in AEW when they were in TNA. Yeah. You know, right. they haven't been they they were hot as able to do it, get them over. Right. You know, it's, you know, let them do that. It's, it's entertaining. They, they, they look like a couple beer drinking redneck guys who like to fight. Right, that that was, uh, I know Stone Cold did that, but that was twenty five years ago. Yeah, you know, it was like just like you know, they can still have two characters that like to do that too. You know, so.